In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve the following problem. How many moles of ammonia are produced from 4.00 grams of hydrogen gas in excess nitrogen? Now, the balanced equation has been provided in this problem, so all you have to do is solve the actual question. I always like to start with a method called GWR, which stands for given, want, and ratios. The given in the problem is going to be the number, the numerical value in the problem itself. So 4.00 grams of hydrogen gas is going to be our given. Now, with a, whenever I write givens, wants, and ratios, I always like to use the formulas instead of the words, because just in case I have to calculate a molar mass, that formula is helpful to have. If you didn't already know this, hydrogen gas, always needs to have a subscript 2 or hydrogen always needs a subscript 2 when you're talking about hydrogen alone not hydrogen combined in another compound like in water but hydrogen alone hydrogen as well as nitrogen is a diatomic molecule to where they cannot exist alone they're either in a compound or paired up to themselves the want is the question, and this question reads how many moles of ammonia are produced. So if you don't know what the formula of ammonia is, you can start to look at your balanced equation and use process of elimination to determine this is nitrogen, that's hydrogen, and if you're not sure what that is, well, that must be ammonia. So when we are going to write our want, I'm going to go ahead and put a question mark, moles of ammonia, which is NH3. When it comes to writing ratios, what you need to do is look for some clues in the given and in the want. In the given and in the want, when you see two different substances like H2 versus NH3, we're going to take those pieces of the balanced equation, the H2 and the NH3, and we're going to write a mole to mole ratio. The mole to mole ratio is taken from the coefficients in front of the formulas and it looks something like this. For every two moles of NH3, there are three moles of H2. Now it doesn't matter if I have these two, this um, ratio flip-flopped, it actually would mean the same thing if I flip-flopped them. Now as I look for more ratios, I'm going to look for clues in the given and the want. The clues are in the units and in the substance. I already found one clue whenever there are two different substances, but your second clue is whenever you see the unit of mass. Grams is in the given, and because grams is next to H2, that's a clue to tell you we need the molar mass of hydrogen gas. When we calculate a molar mass for hydrogen gas, we want to make sure that we are looking at the mass of hydrogen on the periodic table and multiplying it by 2 because there's a subscript 2 in the formula for hydrogen. But do not multiply it by 3, the coefficient. When we write a molar mass, the molar mass is always of 1 mole of the formula, 1 mole of the formula present. So 1.008 times 2 comes out to 2.016 grams of hydrogen. I do not see the unit of grams next to NH3, so we don't need a molar mass for NH3. I also do not see the terms atoms, molecules, or formula units, so we don't need Avogadro's number either. I'm going to continue this problem on the next slide where we start with our given over 1 with the problem. Now the given has a unit and a substance and it's going to guide us through the rest of our problem. So we're going to take that grams of H2 and we're going to look for another mass unit, grams of H2 in the ratios, and we're going to put this value diagonal from the given. We want the units to cancel out diagonally, so that's why I'm putting the 2.016 grams on the bottom. I'm going to put the 1 mole of H2 in the top now because this is this completes the ratio, and I can check this ratio off because I don't want to accidentally use it again. I can continue on with the problem, and I want to make sure that moles of H2 cancel out with moles of H2, and I'm going to take this 3 moles of H2 and put it diagonal, and the rest of the ratio is going to go on top, 2 moles of NH3. Check that off because I've now used both ratios. Now, if I just want to check and make sure I have all the numbers in the right places, I always like to look at the units and the substance and cancel them out diagonally. Look at the units and the substance and cancel them out diagonally, leaving me with moles of NH3. And now I can type it into my calculator. I type in 
Watch carefully, by the way, because I have two numbers in the denominator, and you want to make sure to type it in right. I'm going to type in 4 times 2 divided by 2.016 divided by 3 and I get 1.32 moles. Now I'm hitting the division sign two times, which is kind of unconventional, but if I said divided by 2.016 times three, which is what a lot of people do, you're telling your calculator to multiply everything by three. So you can solve that by hitting the division sign for each denominator, or you can even put your denominator in parentheses and say four times two divided by open parentheses, 2.016 times 3, close your parentheses. That's another way you can get around um, a calculation error.